Hey everybody, this is Antonio again, bringing you yet another video for, I don't know, just for fun, I guess, but for YouTube, mainly purposes. Um, today I'm going to show you something new. I wanted to show you my collection of consoles, and the whole reason for behind that. Um, so anyway, I want to show you this. I actually stacked them all together so you all can see them to believe it and they all work. I actually have them. So here is my entire collection. I'm going to give you a brief history of each of them. Starting with uh, these two. These two I've gotten since I was a kid. Um, in fact, I don't know, well I do know they're both work, I don't know about this guy, actually he needs batteries. But um, anyway, we've had this one since we bought it around 2005 I believe, or 2006. I broke one by accident because I was mad about a game. And then my brother kept this one till after I gave him a PS2, so, and then he stopped playing it too, so, you know. The next one we have is the... <sighs> ones I didn't unplug. It's still in my room, actually. The PS2 Slim. I should have unplugged it, actually, but that's okay. You guys already know that by now. We've had that, too, since we moved. So, well, to my grandma's, anyway. And then, next off, I think the console I bought next was this big guy. I bought the original Xbox probably, yeah, well, like a year ago. Because when I was a little kid, I loved, I, I, I never played a console, and the Xbox was the first console that I ever saw. Besides the Nintendo 64, but I don't remember if it was the, the actual one or not. I, I don't know, there's so many consoles out there. Anyway, the next guy... I got is this guy and uh, both the Xbox and the PSP portable both from uh, the pawn shop I bought a year ago I bought him first and then I bought this guy afterwards because yeah, I like to play well, I, I haven't actually had a, a PSP portable I want to get the camera part but I have no idea where to get one would be nice actually sadly I don't know where to get one. I think the next one that I got was this one. A GameCube. I actually got it from a neighbor. From my previous apartment a year ago. She uh, just had this only. She didn't have no cords, no controller, no nothing. No games. It works though, surprisingly. I was going to use it as a destruction video, but surprisingly... Surprisingly, this guy... I still got some bumps here and there, but he works. He's a-okay. So I'm going to keep him until he, until he can't work anymore. But yeah, he works, period. I don't know how. Next console that I brought, bought was the 360. The Xbox 360. I've seen so many people having this in town. I finally decided I want one. i got to have one. They're, they're so cool. I, I've seen all their features. They're awesome. And so, we got this guy at a different pawn shop, and I left the sticker on because that was, believe it or not, and they were expensive. Look at that. Come on, focus. <laughs> you can't see the price, which you probably can't because it's blurry. It's $185. I think they came down to like 180 or something, but still, that's a bit pricey. So yeah, I bought him when I moved out of my first place and into my new apartment. I I don't have Xbox Live. You probably heard that from the video. I probably already updated. Hopefully, I'll have that maybe Monday or Tuesday. I don't know how it works, but hopefully, just hopefully. Um. Anyway, the next console I actually got was this guy. Xbox One. I got him for Christmas, and I couldn't believe it. My uncle bought me this guy. 
and this guy is literally legit, folks. He, I have no old games other than the Halo, the, the Master Chief Collection in here. I, I'm not kidding you. I, I just can't believe he got me this. This guy is five hundred dollars. He's legitimately the most priciest console I've ever had. Legitimately, and also the controller itself. I mean, it's tiny. Good God. Holy cow. I mean, and then you just magically just put your finger and just whoosh, and he's on. You don't have to push a button. You just whoop, and he's on. Uh, the next console I have is the Wii. And if you look somewhere on here, oh, where is it? Ah, uh, here it is. The uh, price. I got him from the same pawn shop as I bought the 360. He is worth $35. I think they came down to down to 30. I think I can't remember. But I got him in three games. I think there's a video of me playing the sports. Excuse me on on that one video. And finally, the last guy I bought, and I think I'll be good, is another GameCube. Now, reasons of why? Because when I got this GameCube, it had nothing. This GameCube had it all. The controllers, the controller, the cords, and a game. It actually had a game inside. I opened it up. The Incredibles were in here. It's not. It's in a game, but I... I didn't have a case for it, so I just make, put it in with another disc. I hopefully it'll be okay. But yeah, free game, and I think the games were three bucks. This guy, he came down to forty dollars, along with the game itself. It was like I don't know, three dollars, forty-three dollars together. I still had money, but yeah, and that's. That's all their consoles. That's all of them that I have. I don't know if I'm going to get any more. I don't have the DS. I don't know. And as for the Wii U especially, I don't know. But yeah, I have no memories for GameCube and the Wii. The Wii, I think, has them. But I, I, they're like $15. I'm going to have to get one. Hopefully soon. I think we have the the camera and the the Wii are basically they weren't the same memory, but still I like to keep them separated. And everything else has memory. Uh, and I'm hoping they'll do uh, Xbox Live with this guy and this guy. As for the original Xbox, I don't know. I mean, this, the original Xbox, it does have Xbox Live, but I don't know how that works. Honestly, I have no clue. But this is just a video of how many consoles I have. I'll probably do a video about how many I have, but that will be for later. This is Tony, Antonio, not Tony, Antonio, saying good luck out there. Especially with gaming. Peace out, YouTube.